and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you a simple pulsing lights effect. The effect is quite simple but the values depend on the footage that you use. I've got this simple clip, you will find that via description link below. Just right click any project menu and we need an adjustment layer so a new item and click on it. By default it has the same measures. If you need a different one just change it here with width and height. Keep the default for the rest, click on OK. Then put it in your timeline and make sure it's as long as your video clip. So right now the adjustment layer is on video channel 2 and a clip on video channel 1. Now go to effects and we need the Gaussian blur. So type in Gaussian, then drag and drop it on your adjustment layer. On the window you will find the effects menu if you can't see that and we also need the effect controls. Make sure your adjustment layer is active, so not the video clip. The adjustment layer on video channel 2. Test the Gaussian blur, increase it and as I've said the values depend on the footage that you use. But in any case you will have these black frames. So you want to check the box right here where it says repeat edge pixels and that's the way to get rid of this black frame. Let me try a value of 20 or maybe I go down to 10, something like this. I can adjust it later on anyway. Now we need your opacity. So make sure the drop down is open and next to opacity you want to click on this on this little clock icon to start an animation. Set your opacity to zero, create a new keyframe somewhere to the right and then make it 100. You can now select them, hold alt and copy the keyframes to the right. Once again the value, so 100%, it depends on the footage that you use. For this clip it might already be too much. An additional thing that you always want to do is to go to the blending mode and use the linear dodge. And now roll the clip. And this is way too much for this footage. So number one is you can't go down with the blurriness. So let me use five. Then I delete all of the keyframes except for one. I go to the right, create a new one and now I only make it 50%. Once again I copy them, so I select them all, then I hold ALT and drag up to the right hand side. The further apart the keyframes are, the slower this pulsing effect will be, and the closer they are together, the faster it is. And now that looks way better. In some cases it even makes sense to go down to 25%, so you can delete them all except for the first one, or you can simply adjust every second keyframe if you want to do that. So you can see that right here, it jumps from 0 to 50 all the time. I don't want to set the ones that have got 50% to 25. But this is a way to create this pulsing lights effect in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.